Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting and to episodes 1 and 2 of Crest of the Stars. BTW, I know nothing, absolutely nothing about this show. Um, the, I think the only thing I do know is that this came out in the 90s, maybe a couple of years after I was born. I came out in 93. Something tells me this probably came out in 97, but I don't know. All I know is that it possibly has something to do with space, hence the title of the show. But, yeah. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 1 and 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, well, dang, we ain't getting no translation of that. That's a little messed up. Oh, damn, we really going old school on this. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, there we go. My translations. Okay. This is kind of giving me Outlaw Star vibes, and I like that, because, you know, oh, oh. Hell, it kind of gives me Star Wars vibes, even though I don't like Star Wars like that. Like, <laughs> does anybody want to hear that story? Like, because there, there was one day where I actually tried to get into Star Wars, and it was on TV, Let's just say I lasted 30 minutes. I, I, I couldn't do it. I could not. I'm sorry. Like, even now, I think if somebody had asked me, a friend, family member, whoever, to say, like, hey, DJ, get into this. Like, watch ours. I'd be like, no, I, I can't. I tried it, and I don't want to try it again. <laughs> like, no offense to you guys. And I know to the people who really, truly love Star Wars, love it to death. And I'm so happy that you love it to death. But... As someone who, I, I tried it once, and I, I just could not. My dad is, like, a big behind fan, and that would have been something else that we could have shared, but no, I fell in love with anime. <laughs> so, I just kind of share my love of anime with my mom and my dad. <laughs> More my mom. It, it depends on my dad. It depends on, like, there have been times where he's, like, kind of walked in um, when I was younger, and I was watching, like, maybe Naruto or, of course, Sailor Moon or Pokemon. Um, I remember one time I was watching IGPX and he came in and he asked me what it was. So he sat and watched it with me and he really enjoyed it. But, yeah, could never get to Star Wars, like, unfortunately. Okay. 
You would think that they want to translate that, but I'm guessing maybe because of the file that I had, because there was two different versions of it, but... Oh, no, that is English. Okay. Oh. Is that oil? Oh, coffee? Well, you know, he a kid. Hard head make us all behind. He already opened the dang thing. They're all gonna die, aren't they? Like, I mean, of course, they can see that their home is about to be invaded, right? And they have no time to prepare to. And you lost the kid? Excuse me. Machine tone. Oh. And I'm guessing they just want to live in harmony with you guys. Oh, he pretty. <laughs> I would. <laughs>
damn birds. Well, of course, what else did you think it was going to be? Hmm. Oh. And you're going to talk to one of them. Of course. Oh my god. This kid. <laughs> Hmm. But destiny would unfold. Oh yeah, I mean, cause woof, God. Cause yeah, I I really feel like something bad is gonna happen. Mm. That was a dumb thing to do, DJ. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, he's pretty! Look at him! Aww. Yeah, I was about to say.
But what? I mean, wouldn't it just be better to explain? He has to know about this, though. I'm hot. Yeah, that's what it, what else could you do? Mm. <laughs> I mean, but he's a kid. He he's curious. And you're telling me there was no other way to avoid that? Mm. Yeah, but in a way you're making it almost seem like it is. So now, okay, because of that, is that one of the reasons why everybody looks at Junto weird now? I mean, not only because of the fact is what he was wearing, but... Oh, shit. So are you going to have to go into hiding? Not even you. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get a lot of stares <laughs> and glares, so... Should I take this off? No, I'll wait until after because I'm already getting hot. And that means I have to take my headphones off.
Yeah, the elves. It has to be. Because who else would it be? How, though? Of course, because what else can you do? He might not. So that's why you're wearing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, okay, honestly, how can someone cope with this? You did it. Oh. Okay. So, but she probably already knows now. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. Not only that, but anything that was important to you at that time. Mm. I think you're going to meet one right now. Yeah, she's pretty too. Oh my god. Okay. This is only the first episode and I got a lot. A lot of questions. Um, alright. So the fact is that, like, I'm about to call him Jinta. Oh my god. Jinto. Oh my god. Mm. His father did all that? That is fucked up. And, and it makes you wonder, like, especially, like, if he, even if it's not because he, it said it was seven years later, has he ever gotten to talk to his dad about this situation and how he truly feels about it? I mean, because his life changed overnight. To be a commoner, to now a prince, and having to deal with so much more responsibilities at a very young age, it is really hard for kids Especially, you know, when, when you're going from a kid to a teenager and you're learning to do and take on more responsibilities, sometimes it can be very easy for you to get in touch with it and sometimes it can't. It's one of those things that you have to, like, learn very fairly quickly. I was not expecting the fact is that, you know, I'm guessing the butler, Till, had to take him. I was expecting, you know, his babysitter made whoever was going to take him but I get the fact is like oh hey you need to come with us um I'm kind of expecting her yeah that is her right and, and Jinto to yeah that's a girl to have a really nice friendship because they could they might not see eye to eye at first though She pretty though. That's all. Like I mean, he he 
he's handsome and she's pretty and they look good together. And something tells me by the end of this damn series, whether we fin once we finish this going on to Banner, they're probably going to be together. Something kind of tells me that. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, something kind of really tells me that. I mean, it, it seems like we're going to go from the... No, hold on. Enemies to friends to lover trope with this, even though I don't really think we're going to have, like, the romantic aspect that I think we're going to get with this show. Despite, however, because I don't know I think what this first episode is like. No, well, this whole series is like 20 something episodes, I believe. From what I, I, I saw, I don't remember. I would have to check before I watch episode two. But, yeah, I, I mean, like, it, it's crazy. And, and the fact is that everybody, everyone, hates not only him, but especially his father with the fact is that his father sold them out. I, I mean, like, yeah, if that, if, oh, God, if anyone in power had done that to overthrow a country, kingdom, whatever. Of course, yes, everyone is immediately going to really hate that person. Think about, like, anyone who's in presidency, um, anyone who's in higher power, and someone does something that the people of the country, the city, the town, the whatever, are not really truly happy about what he or she has done, and people revolt, and the next thing you know, it's just complete and total chaos. I mean, I would have liked to seen, like, what, you know, the people of this world, oh, no, I'm about to say, well, yeah, it's still a world or a nation, what I really like to say, um, would have done. I would have liked to seen, like, riots and everything because, you know, when something, when people aren't really against, or not against, um, don't really like what someone says, of course, there's going to be a big out riot catastrophe and it's like that. And it was kind of praying to see that but maybe in episode two and like a flashback for it i'm not 100 sure but yeah go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode two <laughs> okay episode two and three two one go so then if they're not interested So, okay, no matter what, they still want peace. Okay, but... Are we getting an opening? Well, technically we got the opening, but like, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. One thing I do want to know, especially with the, how do you, oh god, mm. Abba, is that how you say it? Or really, these intergalactic, mm, god, nope, I'm saying it wrong, intergalactic species, what their past was like before all of this happened, because I'm guessing, you know, something else happened and such, but I'm guessing we're not going to get that answer until, like, way later into the series because this is only episode two and I don't think they're gonna give me that instant backstory that I need but probably not I'm like so you give it about four or five weeks from now mm. it's still cold in here and it shouldn't be I turned the air up to almost 77 Jesus
I'm guessing his only friend that he made. Mm. No figures. Mm. Well, I don't think he was supposed to really tell anybody, you know? What happens? Yeah, but you have the right to keep it a secret. <laughs> you know, I don't think so. I feel like maybe he's just she's tailing him. <laughs> in a way he has like a baby face which is still cute if you have a baby face don't be upset about that I really think that's cute it's adorable because hmm. there are some guys who hate the fact that they have baby faces Wow. So probably by the end of this series, we will see you take the title by the end of it. So that has to happen at least by banner. Because mm. it's got to have the royal treatment to take him back down there. Well, she should be arriving soon. Jesus. <laughs> it really does. I'm still calling him Jean Toe. Because I, oh God, like, I know it's hard to say my full name. 
to someone when I just <laughs> introduce myself and they have to repeat it back to me. But ho! Oh. I will say, Junto's older voice is familiar to me, and I think I know who it is. Yeah, because it sounds like her, and it wouldn't surprise me if that is her. Kind of a little bit. There, there's points where like she, he does sound like that Sayu, but then at the same time he kind of sounds like a different Sayu. Well, excuse me, damn. Oh, well, no, because you're stealing. Mm -hmm. You know, kid, you could have just dropped it and just ran off. Mm. And girl, like, she is determined. Oh my God. Oh, well, it took you long enough. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know hers. <laughs> Okay, Laffy for short. <laughs> They're so fucking cute. It's only episode two. Oh my god. But damn <sighs> 
And I think to her, she doesn't really care. Like, no matter, like, what things, what the things they could do to them, say to them, whatever, she just smiles. Unlike yours. Be. Uh, you know, I would think Luffy would be the one to, you know, pilot. Okay. Like how? No, you know what? We're gonna wait until we get to the end of this to to, to do that comparison because <laughs> I feel like somebody's gonna get mad at me even when I say it. But we're gonna wait. Hey, I mean, but what if it does? Like, <laughs> we got to think about the different possibilities. Well, yeah, it would be nice to.
That's simple, huh? But, you, you know, I mean, of course, he has to be amused. <laughs> True, exactly. <laughs> be together by the end of this. Oh my god! I don't know why, but I'm kind of getting Cowboy Bebop feels from it as well. Like, without it being like, if I can get like 5%, yeah, not that much. It just, just because of the space thing, that's a <laughs> I love how she's so curious. It's cute. Like, super freaking cute. Like, oh my god. Hmm. Like trying to give somebody a seizure, Jesus. said to be before like the day it possibly maybe because I mean mm, yeah it is it had to be at least between the time of after Junto Junto not uh Junto's dad did what he did and then everything just going to hell Think about like all those people. So many people probably lost their lives this day. That's how we end. Hold up. No, no, no. <laughs> Are you serious? No, that is so mean. Why would you do that? You can't just show me that and then be like, okay, we're just ending the episode. Okay. Laffy, I like her a lot. She she's very sweet, adorable, hella curious, because of course, just as much as anyone knew and doesn't really know has like a very out of body experience with a different world and everything because of the fact is of her species and she hasn't really been around humans and this is that and the third so she's gonna want to ask questions like 
all the time. Um, okay, so I know someone's probably going to hate this comparison. Please do not take of this being an offense or anything, um, especially with the way it seems like we're going. It's a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. Little bit. Kind of gives me Darling and the Franks vibes with it, especially because of the fact is you can see where it's kind of similar at points in the two episodes that I've seen of this show officially as of now. But then at the same time, you can see that there are two different sides. I mean, you know, one is a human and one, you know, is a, of a different species. And even though like Zero Two was still still with human she was different and you know people didn't like her because she was different and that is the same thing here oh she's pretty too everybody's pretty you're either pretty or handsome daughter in love See, okay, no, you, you, you can't do it. <laughs> and I gotta wait until Sunday to watch episodes three and four. Oh my god. No, <laughs> I can't wait. This is too long of a wait. Like, you got me too and I'm invested already in two episodes. I need to know how in the world this is gonna, like, go, conclude, and continue on into the rest of the series. But yeah, I really do think that Lafi and Junto are going to fall for each other because it seems fairly obvious um, as I said in the previous video, uh, I don't think it's going to be, like, hugely romance. And as someone who does love romance with, like, it could be science fiction with romance, um, action with romance, um, Japanese his historical events with romance. Anything that has, like, a little bit of romance in it, <laughs> sign me up. <laughs> Because I think it's really interesting, and especially how some people do their take. I mean, I, I feel like whatever else is going to happen, it's going to get worse still, as I said. With that battle that, like, I'm guessing that was three minutes with the, the last few minutes that we had left before the show was over, and seeing destruction and war and everything, and something tells me, like, still, the, the more we continue into this series, the worse it's possibly going to get. I feel like we're going to see one of these people, one of Laf uh, Laffy's people, die. Either in front of her or in front of Junto. And that's when it's really going to get fucked up. Because so, like, comparing it to some other shows and then movies that I've seen, like, uh, can we put Alien in there kind of as well? Or even maybe Predator? Cause, oh, ooh, cause God, it's been a while since I've seen either any alien movie or a predator movie. Um, or, God, I'm thinking, uh, the, mm, yeah, okay, yeah, the mummy. Like, okay, I think there was, did it happen, oh God, goes, whoa, it's been a long time since I've seen that movie. Okay, no, 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 for example, you know how, like, any movie where there is a king, an emperor, empress, whatever, and falls in love and something happens to their loved one and such. And because of that, like, instantly there's a fucking war. I think one short, so one mini series that I watched, I think, four or five, four, about four or five years ago, maybe even ten years ago, um, kind of really, really kind of almost right as, as I got out of high school, uh, there was this series, I think it was on TNT or it was on Spike TV. I think it was called Tut. Um, the love interest died and dude got heated to the point where it just went crazy. And I feel like we're going to see that where someone who is important to either Lavi or Junto will die and one of them or possibly both of them are going to revolt and then it's just going to be like complete and total like we already saw complete and total chaos with with that last few moments of this episode but it, it's gonna be worse than that and i'm really afraid to see how that's gonna go but really for these first two episodes very interesting very different hella invested in wanting to know how this is going to end what the uh, what the hell are these two going to go against in 
this first series going into the following series and how is it truly going to end for these two are we going to get a happy ending are we going to get a sad ending are we going to get an ending where i might get pissed off at the end of this show i don't really want that so <laughs> pray fingers guys but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes one and two of crest of the stars if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the matchup squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for patreons and next thursday for everybody else for episodes three and four bye guys